issues of insurgency, terrorism and crude oil theft set the tone for engagement at the 61st Ministerial Weekly Briefing and called by the Chief of Defence Staff, General Lucky Irabo, in the State House. Against the backdrop of the upcoming elections, the CDS affirms that indeed the military and security agencies get financial inducements to compromise, but they are working as seriously against it. There will always be pressure from all quarters wanting to induce security forces, not just the military, or security forces, the police. That's what criminal enterprise is all about. That is what something that is wrong is all about. But what makes the difference is the professional approach to dealing with those issues. And that's what the military we are committed to doing. And that's the reason why we have ramped up our training in that regard. Sensitization, a lot of um, you know, engagement across you know, the formations and units has been undertaken. He further reacted to allegations leveled against the military by an international news media accusing it of running an illegal abortion program on female victims of the Boko Haram insurgency. I am also aware that, of course, the war economy has affected a good number of people. And so that now that we are making progress, they think that status quo ante, we need to return to it. So those inanities by Reuters, in any case, he said you would interview 33 women over a period of how many years, 2013 to date. And then you were able to conclude, what kind of extrapolation is that? So, but again, I'm not going to be deterred, and I don't think that any of my officers and men are deterred. He also revisited the alleged Lekki Tollgate massacre in 2020. What would be the interest of the military to want to kill their own kids and kin. And there is no single unit of formation where you have only a group of soldiers coming from a class part of the country. Reeling out achievements, the Chief of Defence Staff revealed that 300,000 persons have been freed from the hands of abductors since 2016, while nearly 300 hand-dug wells used to siphon petroleum products have been discovered. From the presidential villa, Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.